Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own little journal pages. Now, this is actually going to be for my sister. Um, it's going to be kind of like a planner journal for her bee expedition she's going to be going on. She is going to be a beekeeper. She has received her bees, and they are busy buzzing around and creating all kinds of cool stuff, and I'm really excited for her. So what I am going to do is create this cute little planner journal for her so that she can take notes, plan on what she needs to do, um, make sure that she has all the information maybe for a full year so that she can reflect back for next year, all that kind of fun stuff that we like to do. So with that, I am going to show you what I did. I have, if you've already looked at our uh, planner journal, how to build your own, um, this is the completed front cover and it's already laminated with, um, I know, hard to believe, but it's actually shelving, like the inside of the shelf, excuse me, shelf covering. Um, it's super easy, and make sure you check out our last video, and it will show you exactly what we got and what to do to do it. Um, in the meantime, what we have is this cute little page. I've made a few of them. This is the easiest user-friendly one to do and to work with. Um, I'm going to give you a download, however, this is five by seven. This will work for five by seven. If your journal is bigger or smaller, these pages will not fit the way that you want them to. So you will need to adjust accordingly. If they're a little bit bigger, if your journal's a little bit bigger, it'll still work. If it's a little bit smaller, you could cut off more of the edges here. But my suggestion is, is just take Word, use your Word document, create two columns, and adjust the sizes accordingly so that you can make your own journal. If you want to make a really thin one, you can make three columns and save paper, okay? So this is what the little page looks like. It's super easy. It's not fancy at all, all right? And like I said, I'll give you this as a download, all right? It's super easy, super fast, and you can edit this. It's gonna be a Word document, so you'll be fine, okay? So this is what it's going to look like. This is the actual Word document printed. Okay. Um, I have a few other examples that um, I have created for myself, but I am not um, going to be showing you those to you because I may do that in a future thing to give you some different ideas on how to change your pages. You can also at this time create your own little tabs, all kinds of different things that you'd like to do. Okay. This is basically an inspiration for you. It's not necessarily a step-by-step -step do this exactly because I like to give you inspiration to create on your own. And I know how many of you are amazingly creative and I can't wait to see what you create with this, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece of paper, okay? And this here is the Fiskars trimmer. I personally use my Carl trimmer. That's what I use. The Carl trimmer is 15 by 17 inches and it's too big for this video, so I can't use it for this. <laughs> At any rate, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to trim it. It's pretty simple. You could even take this if you wanted to. Um, if you have it, uh, have them printed off at a uh, printer or like a Staples, Office Max, Office Depot, any of those places, um, they usually will trim it for you if they've printed it for you, if you make copies there. So sometimes that's cost effective, sometimes it's not. I personally prefer to print it on my own printer. It seems to be more cost effective this way. I haven't really priced it out, so it may or may not be, but at least more convenient for sure. Okay, so what we're going to do is from the beginning, we do not need an inch and a half of this paper. Okay, so I'm going to cut just the inch and a half off of this paper because the way we're going to use this is we're going to be binding the top of this in a future part of the series, and we're going to be binding it right here. Okay, my original plan was to bind it right here. If you've probably seen the previous uh, <laughs> filming, um, my sister, I then, I guess, should have probably consulted her first. So I talked to her and she said, you know, I'd rather have the binding up here. I'm like, okay. So of course I'm doing what she needs. So um, we're gonna trim this off. So we're just gonna measure out. And since it's easier for you to see, I'm going to show you this way, okay? The inch and a half. So I'm flipping it over and we're just gonna take it right here. This is two inches, this is one inch, okay? So we're gonna take it right here to inch and a half, make sure it's lined up, close it up, and we're just gonna slice it and trim it. So we have an inch and a half cut off, so the top part is done, okay? 
So that's what it's gonna look like. That's how much space we need, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take this piece of paper, we're gonna slide it all the way in to the end, and we're gonna look at five and three sixteenths, okay? So all these little, this little dot, and then a larger, little larger, all of this here if, for one inch is um, broken down into sixteenths, eighths, quarters, and half, okay? So if you're not familiar with that, take a look and check out your um, area here so you can see all the little measurements. All the, there's a little dot and then a, a larger one. Um, the larger one would be an eighth, the smaller one is a sixteenth, okay? So we only need three of the little spaces, so we're gonna just slide it right there, and that right there is five and three sixteenths. Oops, I did it backwards. Let's do five and three sixteenths. Okay, I'm sorry, so it was upside down, and we're gonna just slice it like this, okay? And then we turn it over, and that is the proper side right there, okay? We're gonna scoot this to the side. So you're gonna turn it upside down and you're going to slide it and see the five and three sixteenths and then you'll slice it like I said. I apologize, I told you backwards. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a quarter inch off of this right here. So right this long line right here, the first really long line, that's a quarter of an inch. So you just scoot it up to there, slide it down, and we're gonna trim it a quarter of an inch. These directions will be on my blog post, so you can check them out, okay? That'll help you. So then right here, we're gonna measure this up, and this will be, you basically need to make sure that this is five inches, and this is seven inches. That's really the easiest way for me to describe it to you and have you follow the directions. Um, for this specific paper, those are the measurements that I use to make sure that it measures up, okay? So I'm gonna flip this over again. I'm gonna look for the five, we're just gonna make sure it's lined up right there, even. And lift this part up and slide it down. Take that piece off, which should be about 5 16ths of an inch. And then we have our pages, okay? So what we're gonna do with this, in a future video, we're gonna take these pages, or whatever pages you choose to do, and we're gonna just put this on the top, and we're gonna use the bottom, and then we're gonna bind it. So I hope you enjoyed this today. I'm going to make sure that I upload this little tutorial on my blog. It's a really short, quick tutorial, and I hope that you enjoy it, and I'd love to see what you create with it. And again, I'm really looking forward to you guys creating your own, and when you are, you're gonna be using a back like this, and then you'll just bind it up, and you'll have this cute little uh, bookmark and you'll be all set. So I'm really excited to see what you guys create with this idea. I hope you have a fantastic day, and thank you so much for going on a creative journey with Melissa. Have a good one. Bye-bye.